If you have any coins in your pocket or lying around, you might want to take a look at them. If you see a quarter in there, I'm betting there's an image of one of our states on it. I'm Chuck Woolery. Welcome to In Conversation. This week, former directors of the United States Mint, Philip Deal and Ed Moy, discussed the 50 state quarter program, which was spearheaded by Director Deal. Now, how much profit do you think that made? Well, the answer is going to surprise you, just like it did me. I ended up finishing a program that you started, which yeah. was the 50 state quarter program. Yes, indeed. Uh, I, uh, I remember my first quarter launch was in South Dakota yes. at the base of Mount Rushmore. Yes. And uh, you know, for a patriot to, yes. to be able to do that was just yes. uh, an incredible experience. Uh, that program has uh, made the taxpayers billions of dollars. Yes, did. You know, uh, where did that come from, and yeah. how did we, uh, you know, how did we end up there? Yes, that idea had been floating around in the hobby for probably 20 years, mm -hmm. and when I first went in, they came to me and tried to, to sell the idea to me, and the Mint was completely incapable mm -hmm. of doing that program. But as we began to develop its capabilities, I began thinking about it. And as I began to understand coin collectors mm -hmm. and how you know, most coin collectors by that time in the mid-90s were white males over 50. Mm -hmm. And I said, I aspire to be one someday, and mm -hmm. here I am. <laughs> but, but you worry about your business if that's the only profile of your customer. So, mm -hmm. I really looked into how is it that these people, who men mostly over 50, how were they recruited into coin collecting? Uh -huh. And the 50 state quarters program came out of our new capabilities and our awareness of how collecting coins out of circulation really, as preteens uh -huh. and young kids really stimulates that uh, that desire to collect and mm -hmm. collect coins. Yeah, um, both my girls have 50 state quarter books, you know, right? and they they still look through all the change. Yes. I think it's educated a generation of children on geography and history. Yes, yeah. well, and that was part of the story too. We, the Treasury Department, adamantly opposed this program, mm -hmm. and that you know that's a story in itself. But one of the ways we overcame that was to develop support on Capitol Hill. And in particular, there were two Republican uh, chairmen of committees in the House who loved the idea and became champions of it on the Hill. Mm -hmm. And it took a year and a half for us, or two years, to overcome Treasury Department's opposition. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was very fortunate because, uh, and it's funny how stars come together to make things happen. but. Um, there, I went over to one of these chairmen and was making the case, and I said, you know, we're going to do 50 states. It's going to take 10 years to do them. And, um, and so we can start with a state based on the alphabetical order. Uh -huh. And there's no interest in that. Right. And the other is to have a history lesson, uh -huh. and we'll start with Delaware. Yeah. Well, he was the well, congressman. Mike, Mike Castle. Yeah, Mike Castle. <laughs> he was the representative <laughs> from, from <laughs> Delaware. And man, he lit up then. Mm -hmm. And so he became our champion. And he and I worked together hand in glove for almost two years to mm -hmm. get that bill passed. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not sure about the final accounting, but it is in like, I think it's three or four billion dollars yes. that was made on uh, what we call seniorage, yep. which is the complicated government term for profit that the mid makes, right? right? Yes. But it's, uh, you know, I saw. Uh, grandmothers uh, buying rolls of quarters so yes. they could give them to their kids. Yes. And yep. they stayed out of circulation, which meant we need to produce more quarters yes. uh, for circulation. So yes, it was a right. really, really good program. That's so, great. So thank, so you. thank you. Thank you very yeah. much. Yeah. Visit usmoneyreserve.com for more information on precious metals, coins, and precious metal IRAs. America's Gold Authority, U.S. Money Reserve, is proud to be a leading distributor of government issue gold, silver, platinum, and palladium. For over 20 years, hundreds of thousands of clients have placed their trust in the company to help select the highest quality and most appropriate precious metals for their portfolios. So whether you're a first time buyer or looking to expand your current portfolio, U.S. Money Reserve is committed to bringing you a superior customer experience. I'm Chuck Woolery. 
Thank you for watching In Conversation.